So something I need to point out to you. Let's let's try and integrate this from zero to infinity of sine of x. So that's us integrating from here all the way to infinity. So that's this area, and then this is going to be a negative area, and then this is going to be a positive and negative and so on. We are going to integrate it from one all the way to infinity, from one all the way to infinity. So our normal routine would be to integrate it from one to an arbitrary point, let's say b here, and then later on we can let b head towards infinity. Okay, so so our normal routine would be to integrate it from zero to b. So when you when you integrate this, it will then give you this, and then from zero to b. So we've got to put this into the uh, x here. That would then give us this. Put zero into here. That would then give us this. So this thing here is going to be one, and then you've got a negative and a negative here. So that becomes a plus. So that's this positive one here, and then you've got a negative b, a negative cos b. So uh, so integrating this from zero to b gives us this. Now let b tend. Now let let b head towards um, towards infinity. Well, the minute you let b head towards infinity, you are really integrating from zero to infinity. So when you let b, when you let b head towards infinity, then you are really integrating from from zero to infinity. So when when you integrate this, it will then give you this. So so you hang on. So from earlier, hang on. Let's start again. Sorry. Integrate this from zero to b. It will then give you this. Now let b head towards infinity. Then you are really saying you are integrating from from zero to infinity. But then, uh, but then, when you let b tends towards infinity, you're really taking the limit as b heads towards infinity. So, the minute you let uh, b head towards infinity, you're really integrating from zero to uh, to uh, to infinity. That means you you're really taking the limit as b tends to infinity of this thing here. Now, as b tends to infinity, um, the limit here, the limit here, does uh, the limit here does not exist because because um, because cos of um, cos of b as b tends to infinity well cos is just going to oscillate back and back and forth like this there is no limit so so when you try and evaluate the limit of this uh, the limit does not exist so uh, so when when the limit doesn't exist we uh, we say it's, di it's divergent so if if it exists then then it converges to one particular value. But here, in this case, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. So this thing here is, a, um, is, is divergent. Okay?